Hey folks, Matt from artoftheimage.com. Just going through some reader comments and questions on my YouTube channel. And it's making me think once again about the age old Nikon versus Canon debate, which is better. Got a, a commenter here, uh, Brian says, uh, I can think of four reasons not to buy one. And he's referring to the Nikon D4S that I did a video on. Uh, number one, it's a Nikon. Number two, C number one. Number three, C number one. And four, C number one. Which makes me laugh. It's, it's funny. But it just goes to show you how polarized people are on this topic. On this topic of Nikon versus Canon. Uh, you know, mine's bigger than yours. Mine's better than yours. And it's kind of funny because the number one thing we have to take away from this is uh, you should be judging the person's work, not uh, what tools they uh, decide to shoot with. I mean, it doesn't matter if you shoot uh, Pentax. It doesn't matter if you shoot Olympus, Panasonic, Nikon, Sony, Canon. Uh, if you're getting good images, who cares? Nobody talks about an artist um, and then goes and says, oh, their work sucks because they're using this paintbrush. Or what paintbrush do they use before they evaluate the work? No, no, the artists, you go, you look at the, at the what they've painted, what they've drawn, you're like, hey, that's really good. Or maybe it's not so good. But you're not going to see, is it because of their gear? Or what are they using? I mean, sometimes you want to know just because you're learning something. But uh, you're not usually critiquing, or if ever, critiquing an artist's work by the tools, the brushes, the paints they're using. Uh, if they do a spectacular image, probably never comes up and that's the way it should be in photography now that said um, I've had people ask me you know what do I like better a lot of people say I'm a Nikon fanboy which is funny because I you know I first one to call out Nikon when they have a problem like the d600 issue um, recently Canon's had the 70d issue called them out on that um, so it's very hard to do any series of videos and not have somebody pointing fingers at you saying you're a fanboy for one side or the other. Right at the moment, I'm most infatuated with the Micro Four Thirds system. I love my Panasonics and uh, my new Olympus uh, EM10. Um, right now, if I had to choose a full frame camera to shoot with for my needs, it would be the Nikon D610. I think it's a better camera than the 6D. This might not have been the case before the uh, 610 came out though. I might have chosen a Canon. Um, so it's, I mean, I've shot both systems over the years. Um, when I shot all the time doing weddings, uh, mainly weddings and portraits and whatnot, um, I've gone from Nikon, I've gone to Canon, back to Nikon, back to Canon. I just, I'm, you know, like a kid in a toy store. I like the newest toys and I like to try both systems. Both of them had their advantages. My overall impression over the years having shot with both, my personal feeling and from my experiences and my friends' experiences is that I just feel I like the Nikon system a little better than the Canon system. It's not to say it's better. Um, my personal kind of feeling is, is that Nikon's had a little better quality control over the years. However, the, you know, the D610 problem came out and we've had other issues, you know, the D800 focusing problem. Um, and, but Canon's had a lot of them, you know. I had uh, a lot of people that aren't in the professional world uh, weren't aware of the fact that a lot of photographers, for instance, the Canon 50mm F12L when it came out, very expensive lens, but it was known to fall apart. It just pop open and your elements would fall out. Um, and I mean, Neil Van Niekerk, great photographer, the Tangents blog, I'll put a, link, lo, uh, a link below. He had an ongoing saga with Canon gear that was almost comical. Um, I don't know the exact number, but I mean, he's got a, a picture in the blog of a table piled full of Canon returns for repairs. And it just got to be almost, I mean, he was very frustrated, understandably, because he's working professional and his gear's not working. But it became almost a joke among um, those of us in the community that knew him. We felt very sorry for him, but uh, it was like, oh my Lord, what's going on? What's broken now? And it was always Canon. Um, but I'm sure, I mean, there's other people out there I know that feel that way about Nikon. They've had issues with Nikon. So, you know, it's it's going to be your experiences and your friends' experiences or associates and what's happened. Um, right now, I think Nikon sensors are a little better than Canon sensors. Um, now, when I say better, uh, can you not get a good image with Canon? Of course not. Canon takes great photos. I mean, you take the 1DX, it's a phenomenal camera. But on a level playing field, 
you know, Canon's uh, sensors have gotten a little bit behind Nikon's right now. They don't perform as well at high ISO, um, maybe not the 1DX, but certainly the rest of the range uh, in compared to the Nikon sensors, which are primarily Sony sensors. Um, but Nikon's cameras are performing better at high ISO, they're delivering better dynamic range, and they're scoring better on sensor ratings. Um, this is not to say that you can't take good photos with Canon. I mean, right now, I would recommend probably most people that uh, a great option if you're starting out is the Canon T3i kit. It's like less than $500 on sale right now and it takes great photos. Does good video too. So I guess what I'm trying to say, folks, is I'm trying to get back to it. It's amazing how people get caught up in this Canon Nikon debate um, because there are other manufacturers out there for one. And for two, it's really just a personal preference. Uh, they both make some good stuff. They have both had some blunders. Uh, they both have excellent lenses, a little different on each area. Um, sometimes depending on what the date is in history, one's a little farther ahead than the other. Right now, you should be able to make a great image with any DSLR on the market, with any Micro Four Thirds camera on the market. So it really is not that big a deal. I, I know people like to get into their gadgets and take sides. It's like a football team, you know, you're arguing whose team is better. Um, and I think that's where that comes from. Plus, it probably comes from, you know, hey, I've invested my money. I've taken the time to, to buy that camera, to look into it. And now I'm going to defend it because you're criticizing my decision, not so much the brand. And I think that weighs into it a lot, too. Um, but I think we just need to come back and realize, you know, it's a Ford Chevy thing. Some people like to drive Fords. Some people like to drive Chevys. Um, is there anything wrong with either of those people that make those decisions? In a comical way, you might say so. You know, the uh, this is your brain on drugs t-shirts. But in the end, they're both cars. They both get you from point A to point B. Chevy's made some very nice ones. Ford's made some very nice ones. And this is the same with Nikon and Canon. Um, right now, would I have a problem shooting with a Canon 1DX? Absolutely not. Beautiful camera. Would I have a problem shooting with a Nikon D4S? Absolutely not. Beautiful camera. Um, you get into specific requirements. For instance, if I was doing just a ton of studio work and I wanted super high resolution without going to medium format, there's not really a Canon option right now, which I hope Canon fixes that for the Canon shooters. But the Nikon D800E is a, is a camera of choice. I mean, it's basically the top camera out there right now without going into medium format. So anyways, this is what I'm trying to say. You know, let's focus more on, less on the Canon versus Nikon debate. And believe me, there's a lot of it. You will not believe all the comments I see both ways on the, on the blog, on the YouTube channel, um, and that's fun, but don't get out of hand with it not being fun. I mean, if it's in jest, fine, but people can get really vindictive online about this, and it really doesn't matter. It's You should be more focusing on your lighting skills, your skills as a photographer, and you should be able to make an excellent image with whatever camera you have. So um, anyways, what do you guys think? You think I'm out of line here? I mean, am I way wrong? Do I, do I not realize that Canon's way better, or do I not realize that Nikon's way better? You have to realize, too, that in North America, in the United States specifically, Canon probably has a bit of a lead on Nikon. Worldwide, that's not so much the case. I think they're pretty much neck and neck, especially when we're talking about um, consumer entry-level cameras of DSLRs, like, say, the Nikon D3300 versus the Canon, uh, I guess it would be probably the T5 or, or even, say, the T3i, even though it's an older camera, um, because that's where the bulk of these companies' sales and their revenues come from. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Leave me some comments below. Let's have a discussion. Let's keep it civil. Let's have fun with it. And uh, let's talk about Canon versus Nikon. Do you agree with what I'm saying here? Do you disagree? Give me your reasons. We'll talk. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll be back soon with more articles, more videos. So I'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, videography, and technology right here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.